sweet potato. Well, basically, it's a, a pan, pan fried potato cake. Now, a lot of people will add flour into a you know potato cake to before they fry it. You can try it, try it this way without the flour. Now, what I want to do is I have here some raw potatoes. Now, you need a, you do need a box grater, right? So a box grater is this here, all right? That has the it's obviously the box style, but it also has the wide grating angles here. So what I need to do is I need to just grate up some of this potato here and. Um, I'm going to add it to the mix after I have drained the liquid out of the potato. So I'll just get started off. And you can see here that I'm just grating the potato down into the, the, into the inside the grater, the box grater. And when I get, you can see here what I'm talking about, right? But you can see that this is quite wet, all right? So what needs to happen is before we add this to, to the potato mix that we have, we need to drain all the liquid out of that. I'll show you how we do that when we're at that stage. So I'm going to keep on grating here, and I'm ready to bring you back and show you the rest of it. I'll see you then. Now watch this. Look at the amount of liquid that's coming out of that potato. Right? You can see the liquid on the board there. I just lift it up and do that look, all that liquid just squeezing out of the potato. Alright, so what do we do? Right, get a bowl, I'm going to use my claw here and I'm just going to put this mix into the cloth, bring it down and I'm just going to basically bring it out. So I'm just going to twist the cloth and you can see here the amount of liquid that's coming out of that potato. So now so you can see here that small amount of potato contained that much liquid, all right? So let's look, take a look at the potato. Now, what we're left with is this. And you can see this here. It's dried out perfectly. So the next thing to do now with this is to add it into the potato mix. So when I'm doing that, I'll bring it back. Now we are ready to start making this box tea. Now, you can see here, there's the dried potato that we squeezed all the liquid out of. Now I'm just going to put the whole lot together into a bowl. So, I just want to get this up here. Throw it in here. Get all that in there. Now what's going to happen is, is that when the um, potato is cooking, we're going to pan fry this by the way, when the potato is cooking, the raw potato here that you have is going to bind the mix together and hold it all together. So that means you can be a little bit more, you can be a little bit more rough with the mix itself, um, and need not worry about whether or not your 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 potato cake is going to collapse and fall apart and you know, or turn to mush in the pan or whatever. So what we're doing here is, remember this is already seasoned. This mix. So what we're doing here is. We're just mixing the raw potato through the cooked potato. We're going to colour it on the pan and then we're going to finish it in a hot oven at 180 degrees for around about 10 minutes. Now, do you have to use fish? Do you have to use anything like meat or fish or chicken or anything like that? No, you don't. You can, of course, but these also are brilliant as a vegetarian option. So if anybody, if you're a vegetarian or your friends are vegetarian or whatever, and you want to be in a position to offer them something nice, just add everything else that we've added in here with the addition of maybe some shallots, chopped shallots, or very finely chopped onion, and add very finely chopped red and, red, red and green pepper, and just then don't put any meat or fish in it. Simple as that. So this is ready. Now, you can see here that that 
has turned into a very robust uh, cake there. It's holding together well, no problem there whatsoever. So the next thing that I want to do now is, what I want to do is actually I want to portion it out and I want to shape it. I want to press this pancake down here, this cake, potato cake, and what I want to do is just, I want to cut out um, some individual potato cakes. Now, I'm going to just cut them in a standard ring shape. Now, what is helpful here is if you do have a potato cutter, if you have a cutter, sorry, a cutter and also a palette knife because they are quite handy. So, um, let's move this one aside for you. I want to make sure and compact this in here and lift it off. Like that. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to flip this, as you can see here, I want to shape in those edges that were left outside. So just turn it around like that, okay? Now, with your palette knife, obviously because we're doing fish, I want to just make a pattern in the potato cake like so. Now, so there you can see that's the first potato cake there. Um, I'm going to keep on going with the rest of these and when I'm ready to start cooking, I'll bring you back. Just about ready to start putting these on a pan. Now what I've got in here is a little bit of oil. I'm adding in a knob of butter here. Or I'm adding a knob of butter. Well, I want to be able to extract the little bit of extra richness that the butter is going to give. But you can also add in, or should I say, the reason as well I'm adding in the oil to the butter and both vice versa is that um, butter burns quite easily. By adding oil and then some butter, you get the flavor of the butter and the high temperature of the oil. Now, what I'm going to do is, if you remember, this is the presentation side. So they're going down first, that side down. Get the presentation side down first, and we give it a, a couple of minutes just to color up, turn it over, take them off, and finish them in the oven. These are ready for their first turn. Let's have a look at the color now. That's what I'm talking about. Lovely and golden brown. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And you can see the trellis work that we did in there makes it resemble somewhat, if you've got a very good imagination, fish scales. So, we're gonna let it color to the same uh, on the back side that we just flipped to there now, and then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. Now, the one thing to be careful about at this stage is don't leave them too long, because uh, they will burn very easily, and obviously that's the last thing that you want. So, and also as well, of course, when you, if you could, if you want to, is you could just flip the whole pan into the oven. Uh, I'm gonna take them out and put them on a tray and then put them into the oven. Um, but just remember, as I said, you be careful at this stage because the last thing you want to do now is burn them. So when I'm taking them off, I'll bring you back then. All right, now we're just ready to flip these. You can see what I'm talking about here in regards to the color being perfect. So. There we go, absolute perfection. So they're gonna go onto the tray, into the oven at 180 degrees for around about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. So you can see there exactly what I'm talking about. So when they come out of the oven, I'll bring you back then. Now, welcome back. Wow, that's hot. Now you can see here, there's the potato cakes. Um, about 12 minutes later out of a hot oven, we put them in at 180 degrees centigrade um, into a preheated oven. Now the oven was, that's important again, preheated, okay? Um, so that's them there. You can see, let me just show you that they've held together perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, they didn't break out or burst on the side, etc. That sometimes normally happens when people use flour or anything like that with the uh, potato cakes, or as we call them, boxy, right? So that's it. So there's nothing really, again, difficult or strange about what I've done here, 
You've seen how easy it was to put them all together. The only hard part of the work really was grating the potato and squeezing out the excess liquid. So look, that's it. Uh, trust me when I tell you this, right? You're, if you try it, you'll enjoy it. So look, see you next time.